mean, it's kind of dark over here, though. Uh, is it? I guess those lights aren't bright enough. Sometimes when you were showing yours, it was a little dark, too. These are all mixed up, but I guess that's okay. <coughs> Alright, so, I went to this estate sale of this guy who I've seen around. He's sort of an antique dealer guy who I guess has his house full of stuff that was like his overfill or whatever. He had to get rid of it all. So there's a bunch of records there, and the first day I got about a hundred or so records for fifty bucks, and a lot of those were like late '80s, early '90s, like grunge and things like that. And I talked to the right person, and they sold me the whole stack. And then the next day, or maybe it was a week later, I went back and looked at the records like that upstairs, and found quite a bit more. I was able to get another stack for about thirty bucks, and they're all sort of mixed up here, but. Let's go ahead and grab them and go through them. We've got Rosie, the Bitch of Rock, sort of a late 80s hair metal signed by all the members to someone named KKK. Uh, Grand Prix, Cars in Action, Engine Sounds. Uh, Dr. Hook and the Medicine Show, Belly Up, classic band. Uh, Ken Nordine, Colors. Weird album. He just goes over like 26 colors and these little sort of like vocal poems for him. We've got a Split Ends, True Colors, which I just got a bunch of their stuff at Goodwill, and then I found this one, and then I didn't even notice until I was like, "What's wrong with your record?" I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not. And it's like, oh, yeah, it's, the record's all like scored up and it's like rainbowy. Yeah, well, the album's called True Colors, so it <laughs> makes sense. This one I already had. This is some uh, I don't know Italian, some sort of folky thing. Um, this one I saw as soon as I was going through the bin, I was like, no fucking way. Because the the other one I had cost like 75 bucks from a record store, and then I saw this poking out the top, and I'm like, no way, but there it was. I got it for a dollar. He was kind of going through a mall that I said I'd pay a buck for, and he was like, and he kept going, so it worked for me, but it's in great shape. It's on the blue label, stereo. Uh, this is another fantastic album, Area Code 615. This is sort of folky group, a lot of banjo and everything, but also like heavy electric guitar. And they cover a lot of Beatles songs. Uh, I'll link to... <sighs> I'm gonna cut my lungs right now. I don't have... I will link to Owen's video because he got a bunch of the soundtracks they had. He had a whole big box of like soundtrack uh, albums, but this was one... I, I grabbed a few for myself. We got The Adventures of Baron von Munchausen. Uh, we also have Celtic Symphony by Al Alan Stavell, sort of a Celtic harp player who brought it back with a little bit of rock and roll. Peter Tosh, No Nuclear Holocaust War or whatever, something, you know, activist reggae stuff. It's a sweet cover. Uh, I'll talk about these in a little bit. Uh, Don Nix, which first I thought, well, we got Don Nix and it was Tom Paxton, who I don't like, but Don Nix is actually pretty cool, sort of. Southern musician type person. Um, I gotta arrange these so I'll actually be able to grab them when I want them. <laughs> I need a, a trough, like a record trough down here that I can just flip through and have them on the ground. Oh, okay. Five extra minutes there. This one I must have put somewhere. Art Tatum and Ben Webster. Actually, that one's still at work. I've got the Go Now, the Moody Blues number one. That's a duplicate for me. Stuart Copeland, the Rhythmatist. Uh, we have Illuminations with uh, Carlos Santana and Alice Coltrane, who were both super Buddhist at the time, I guess. The Backwoods Band, Jess Fine. I don't know anything about them, but they look like uh, good old friendly people. This is a duplicate for me, the Buoys, Timothy. They had a song that was about... Uh, Cannibalism. <laughs> um, we have a Rasa album, Everything You See Is Me. Rasa is sort of this uh, psychedelic, folky, sort of Indian Buddhist religion group that actually uh, Manatee sent me a couple records of. And I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> did I find one in Vermont? Uh, sea Level on the Edge, really boring jazz stuff. But not terrible. Uh, Altered State soundtrack, as well as the Alien soundtrack. I grabbed those two for myself. This is something else, this is something else, this is something else. I mean, they're all things, my god, this is a duplicate. This is, like I said, I haven't quite organized this down here in the best way. 
these are things I grabbed somewhere else. I cut this flipping part out. Um, <coughs> okay, these ones actually did get there though. I think these were some duplicates that I grabbed, but I'm replacing them all now. So changes one Bowie, uh, Almond Brothers Fillmore East, CCR Live in Europe. This we got uh, Grateful Dead, Anthem of the Sun, as well as uh, Blues for Allah. Uh, ten years after, something Herbie May and something Shiny Steppenwolf cover. It's her second album. Ten CC Deceptive Benz, Country Joe and Fish, Feel Like Picks on the Die, Bowie's Diamond Dogs, Detroit Self-Titled by a band led by Mitch Ryder. Not the wrestler? No. <laughs> Unfortunately. Did get a bunch of Devo as well. We got uh, We Are uh, Are We Not Men, We Are Devo, as well as uh, this record, which doesn't look like it's in great shape. And Freedom of Choice by Devo, and also um, whatever this Devo album is, and then Peekaboo by Devo. So plenty of Devo. Adam Amp, friend or foe, duplicate of Jimi Hendrix's Electric Ladyland, as well as a duplicate O.C. Bisa. Tracy, the cufflinks, I don't know what to think of that. Also, Call Me Burroughs, a reading by William Burroughs. We're starting to get into sort of the weird ones here, at least a few of them. Audio Obstacle Course, Era 3. We've got Introduction, Balance, Phasing Test, just things to make sure you're running your system as good as possible. Hi-Fi Hammond by Jackie Davis, who looks like he's having quite a good time. Also, we have Communist Trickery by Dr. Fred C. Schwartz. How the Red Butchers, how will the Red Butchers dispose of your family? <laughs> Few Americans would want to live in that. It's just beautiful. Propaganda. Yeah. We got Amy Stewart's Knock on Wood. I don't know why I grabbed that, but it did. Uh, hold that one in a second. And we've got You Don't Like Me, Do Ya by Pinhead. It's an EP, apparently. Is that punk? Probably. Punk all sounds the same, but I don't know how you could like one over the other. Controversy. Um, <laughs> Robert Johnson, King of the Delta Blues, sings. Singers. Should be a good one. Geoff Poister, Season of Change. I think this is sort of a local guy. I think I might even have something by him. Uh, Nine on the Ten Scale by Sammy Hagar. Uh, I grabbed this one. This is Jan Hammer, his album that has Crockett's theme, Miami Vice theme, and then a bunch of songs he wrote on his own. This is Goodwill, Goodwill. Here we got New York Dolls' debut album, 1973, produced by Todd Rudgren, sort of proto-punk stuff. You know, when they all dress like chicks. We've got Hot Rodders, Battle Rock and Roll. Also have Kink Size, featuring All Day and All the Night. Stan Rogers for the family. Some nice folk there. Tiny Alice shows you how to strike it rich in the music business. Really weird, sort of like that old swing time jazz, you know, but... I like that fold. It is. It's a little matchbook thing. <laughs> I wonder if you had giant, like, fake matches. Yeah, that <laughs> would actually strike... <laughs> Uh, Ted Nugent and the Amboy Duke, Survival of the Fittest Live. I forgot to mention some of these, well, the collage on this, I always like that. But some of these, actually, after we went to this, we went to a church sale in Hardwick, and there was a big box of, of records there, and there were some great ones in it, like uh, Switch by Golden Earring, and also Golden Earring's Moon Tan album, the American cover just has a big ear with a ring on it, but this was like the European cover that had like a naked chick with blue tits, and then, you know, a big blue ass. <laughs> we also have Little Feet's debut album, which not that many copies of it sold, apparently only about 11,000 did originally. Um, Alan Taylor, the American album. We also have uh, Wilbo de Paris on the Riviera and the South Seas. You know, it should all be sort of calypso y probably. Um, yeah, these are mixed together just about there. Uh, Tommy Makem and Liam Clancy. Uh, 
Atarangi Tahiti and Calypso's Too Hot to Handle. We also have the 12 Greatest Hits at the San Remo Festival, recorded in Italy. I don't know what that's all about. Herb Albert and Hugh Masekela live together. Also a little Maynard Ferguson. I don't know. It's never been my style of horn music, but I decided to grab it. Uh, Dallas Frazier. My baby packed me... My baby packed up my mind and left me. Should be good, some good country there. <laughs> then we have, hey gente, um, I'm your little boy. It's just like this apparently 13 year old singer from somewhere over there. Uh, okay, now that's all the boring stuff. Uh, I should probably put in a time code so people can jump ahead to these ones because they're more exciting, at least for the modern kids. These are. It was basically, it was a big box amongst all the other boxes of records that were all like this punk sort of stuff. Punk sort of stuff, however you want to call it. Um, we have Arise Therefore. We have Mule, which I have to have you listen to this one, it's so stupid. <laughs> the first song anyways, it made me last month, laugh my ass off. We have uh, Christ on Parade. Um, I have a few... Ten inches and things like that here. We have Eggnog by the Melvins, 10 inch. We have uh, Carp, Mustache is Wild. And we have The Urge Overkill, Stull EP. We also have J Daniel Johnston's Respect Lo-Fi Series Volume 1. And then in terms of 7 inches here, got a No Effects Super 7. Um, CIV All Twisted, uh, CIV Second Hand Superstar, uh, Lisa and Louise by No NoFX, uh, some picture album by Fluff or someone. <laughs> uh, Me First and the Gimme Gimme Swing, uh, Dum Dum, I can't even read half of these, or Dead Monkey Arcade, I guess. Uh, Friends of Dean Martinez, uh, Five Seconds Expired that might be signed by someone, and uh, White Zombie. You got White Zombie? You like White Zombie? That's a uh, Rob Zombie's band, unless that's the name of a song. It probably is. What's, I think the, what's song the song? Is, the song is Zombie Kiss, I think. Well, maybe that's one for you then. I was wondering if you were going to know any of these names, because I don't know any of them. <laughs> well, I know NoFX and stuff like that. Yeah. White Zombie is the band before he went solo and had just Rob Zombie. Oh, okay. More human than human and stuff like that. So we have uh, Gaunt, Sob Story, which the sleeve this is in has a little sticker that says this just fucking rips. So I decided to listen to it. NoFX, so long, I think, for all the shoes. We have a... Uh, Wrong, by no means no. It has Jello Biafra, I think. I don't know, that's not, you don't call them Jello Biafra. It's like... <laughs> it's yeah. a sweet cover, though. Uh, Time Horror by Tree People. Uh, we have Job Box's debut album, I think. Pogue Tree in Motion by The Pogues. Uh, Thomas Jefferson Slave Apartments. Uh, we have G.I. by Germs. We have Sebado, uh, four song CD. We have. Is this the Dolomite? Some of these covers I can't even read. Uh, Double Seven, I guess, or something. Can't read it. It's got some shiny ink on it. I think this is by Something Trucks, Royal Trucks. Thank you. We have Come by 1111. Uh, Hornet Pinata by Digits or something. That's a sweet cover too. It is. Uh, Wowie Zowie by Pavement. We have Rachel's Handwriting LP. Uh, Pennywise. I guess this might be their debut. I know Pennywise. Yeah, Unro Unknown Road by Pennywise. I'm making a giant mess down here. <laughs> uh, the Sea and Cake by The Biz. We have Transient Random Noise Burst with Announcements by Stereo Lab. Okay. Yoink. Mount Shasta. Uh, who's the hottie? <laughs> with the pig pissing on the back. Nice. 
We have some lard, uh, The Last Temptation of Reed. We have uh, old paint by Freakwater. We have Beyond the Valley of the Gift Police, Police by Jello Biafra, which is like a three or four LP spoken word. <laughs> Uh, the Chippendale. Yeah, it looks like it. And Don's on the Donald Duck mask and, and toothpaste on the back. <laughs> uh, we have Paul's Boutique by the Beastie Boys. Yeah, Beastie Boys. Here's another Pennywise full circle. And also Straight Ahead by Pennywise. Uh, stripped by Depeche Mode. Yeah, Depeche Mode. Have another Royal Trucks album. Uh, Dead Moon, Destination X, with that wonderful pixelated text. <laughs> um, Circle Jerks, Golden Shower of Hits. That sounds familiar. I don't know, In Your Eyes, Parade of the Horribles, Under the Gun. It was all a bunch of them. This is uh, No Means No, Sex Mad. There's another Lard album. I think these are all like EPs, The Power of Lard. Oh, it's Jello B. Afros in this too. Uh... Me first in the Gimme Gimmies or a drag. Um, Demma Musse Bonk by Snuff, or however you want to say it. Also, uh, Lard, 70s Rock Must Die. Makes me sad. <laughs> uh, Fun in the Dark by the Groovy Ghoulies. Still Biscuit. reminds me of the cartoon. <laughs> Maybe that's where they got their name. Uh, Biscuits for Smut by Helmet. And also, Aftertaste by Helmet. Helmet sounds familiar, too. And then we've got a Don of the Dickies. <laughs> the back cover hurts to look at a little. Oh. Screeching Weasel, Wiggle. We have Butthole Surfers, Live, PCP, PEP. -E -E. Yeah, Butthole Surfers. Have um, bad music for bad people by the Cramps. Uh, second edition by Public Image Limited. Have uh, pavement slanted and, and enchanted. Uh, crooked rain, crooked rain, or maybe just crooked rain by pavement. Uh, Link Ray, some kind of nut missing links, volume three. Here's another Pennywise album about time. Uh, have the Melvins here, Stoner Witch. Um, Groovy Ghoulies, World Contact Day. Um, Camper Van Beethoven. Uh, the Decline by No Effects. And the album by No Effects, and this one's still sealed. And actually, that might be. But no, it can't be. Yeah, there's one. <sighs> Maybe it ends there, though. Um,. This is Dr Dreams by Beat Happening, and I think, yeah, this is sort of a marble vinyl. Uh, we have Tortoise, I don't know the group, but I think this one is like a red, red vinyl. We have Mud Honey, which is sort of a glass vinyl. I've heard of them too. Uh, Heavens to Murgatroyd even, it's the head coats. I believe this is a blue vinyl. Here's another Mud Honey. Every good, every good boy deserves fudge, which I guess they like that sort of glassy vinyl look. We have Keith Levine, that 2011 Black to Black. I, can't, I don't know if it's really for them, but it's weird. It's just black record with nothing on either label. And Therapy by Trouble Gum. I think this is a green record. We have seaweed. Is it gonna be green? Uh, no, it's actually like an opaque or a marbled blue, I guess. They're called seaweed. <laughs> and then sausage riddles are bound tonight. I think this one's also like a red vinyl in there. Too lazy to take it all the way out though. Oh, and this one has this sticker. Now, I think these are all something I got somewhere else, yeah. So, yeah, that is the majority of what I got for, I guess that would be, I think it was like 
50 bucks for the first stack and then 10 for the other and then I think I went back and paid another 30 bucks so you know like 90 bucks for all those records I think it's a fair a fair deal you got more to listen to than I can so and oh yeah and then I went to Big Lots <laughs> and Big Lots has been notorious for having terrible knockoffs my little pony, but today I was able to get it. Trixie and Elyra. So here, I'll just ruin this video for everybody who cares. They also had a Rarity, Twilight, and a bunch of those stupid ponies that I don't think were ever anywhere. Maybe the cherry one was, but I don't know. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. <coughs> you coming to get me?